happy birthday, Joel. Well, happy belated birthday, I guess, because it was yesterday. Um, I'm really sorry that I couldn't get this up yesterday. I just really didn't have time. Um, school's been busy, so I know it's not a good excuse. <laughs> okay, I don't have anything written out or anything planned for this. I was just gonna wing it. Um, I originally had like a big idea to get a bunch of people to make a happy birthday like five second video for you and put it all together like all of our friends and stuff but I just I just didn't, haven't had time. <laughs> Why is your birthday in March? <laughs> if it was in like May it would be so much easier to do this. So yeah as I said I have nothing written out or nothing planned for this video. I'm just gonna say what well, comes right from the heart, I guess. So, um, Joel, you're like basically my like best friend in the whole world. And uh, I'm very grateful that uh, I was able to meet you in high school. We've had many, many memories together, starting in grade nine when we met and we had all those sleepovers, grade nine band together. Um, when we went up to the Ohio trip and you couldn't come because you were in Germany and we made a whole like video for you. <laughs> Media arts together in grade 10 and grade 11 and English together in grade 10. And uh, when we had to do the Romeo and Juliet skit together and I like straightened your hair. <laughs> um, oh, the surprise birthday party that I threw for you in like grade nine or 10, I don't remember. I think it was grade 10, but, <laughs> and you were so surprised and I was so happy. Better Than Brad, when we did the photo booth pictures and made our first CD cover. <laughs> Practicing in your room together to the drums and my like poor acoustic guitar. <laughs> um, lots and lots of memories and I'm really fortunate and really glad that I was given the opportunity to meet you at high school and you mean a lot to me, you mean the world to me, and um, honestly, nobody could ask for a better friend or a better person than you, Joel, because you do a lot of good things for people, and the world needs more people like you in it. <laughs> this is starting to sound really sappy. I'm sorry, Jessica, I don't have a secret crush on Joel or something. <laughs> I have a boyfriend. <laughs> But um, honestly, from the heart though, like we've been friends for so long and and I'm just so glad that even though I'm here in, in New Brunswick and you're there in Ontario, we're still able to keep a close relationship and I'm just really glad that, that I know that I'm going to have you as a friend for my entire life because we were both so committed to staying friends even though we're so far away. So I hope you got everything that you asked for for your birthday and I hope you had a good day. I hope you didn't have any assignments or midterms or anything because that would suck. Um, and uh, happy 20th birthday and I'm really excited to come home and see you. I really, really miss you. Um, you don't realize how much you really love somebody until you don't have them in your life anymore, I guess. Um, but honestly, from the heart, I can say that I really do love you and you really do mean a lot to me. And I would do anything for you and I'd, I'd hope you'd do anything for me. And um, I definitely want to keep you in my life forever because you were my first, you and Andrew were my first like best friends in high school and we've been through a lot together and um, a lot of ups and a lot of downs and uh, no matter what, we always stick together even if Andrew is busy with his university filming life and you are in Ontario and I'm in New Brunswick. Um, no matter what, we're always going to be really good friends and uh, I just, I wish you a good birthday and um, I'm just excited to see you and and yeah, I'm gonna go now before I get all sappy. Bye.